So Thomas Burdich has the type of technique that I absolutely love when recreational players copy it because it's so incredibly simple. And I'm going to show you something that he does with his non-hitting hand that you can copy and absolutely play better tennis. This is a perfect example of it. I want you to look right here at his non-hitting arm, and since he's right-handed, that's his left arm, and how, and how he's reaching toward the camera. And from the camera's view, right, we're filming from the side, or, you know, this is Essential Tennis's video, <laughs> so thanks, Ian, for letting me use this. But notice he's reaching for the camera with his non-hitting hand. And then obviously at contact, his non-hitting hand is above contact. Really important that you make sure that that happens. He goes over the shoulder. Again, his technique is absolutely incredible. Here he's sitting in a chair, and then he's lifting up as he hits, right? Right? You don't want to stay down if you can help it. You want to come up. But I want you to notice again, look at his non-hitting hand. Here he is again, reaching with his non-hitting hand toward the camera. And then we go to the next one. Look at his non-hitting hand reaching toward the camera. This is such a vital idea in getting you to coil and then uncoil into the shot. Now, to help you practice this at home, get yourself a Topspin Pro. My link is in the description below, and I'll pin it in the first comment. So thank you so much. So simple. Film yourself from the side, and when you take your racket back, take it back with both hands and then reach toward the camera. You can even think of covering up your face, which is what we saw with Burdich right there. He covered up partially his face from the camera's view. Then as the racket dropped, his non-hitting hand moved forward. He made sure that his non-hitting hand was above contact, and then he swung over the shoulder. I'm just going to ask that you catch the racket to make sure that your non-hitting hand is up. So it looks like this. You know who else is really good at this when it comes to something that's very obvious with their technique is Grigor Dimitrov. So I'm reaching toward the camera. I'm hitting this way, but I'm reaching across. This coiling and then uncoiling effect into the shot is exactly what you want. Oops. My backswing was too large. Last one. Now, in addition to using the Thompson Pro, you gotta find people in your local area to compete against, practice with, or maybe even find a coach who you can ha have help you with this technique. And that's why I want you to go to my link in the description below, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link and you find people in your local area, you find coaches in your local area, you can do it at a 50% discount when you use my link. You can also click the card that just popped out right there. Learn the across the body arm movement and then the unwinding of that arm on your forehand ground stroke. And there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.